as we have this heat and humidity continuing to build in. We have those temperatures that are still starting to heat up and if anything, we're going to be very close to 90 degrees before it's all said and done. The only pocket is down toward first alert live radar showing you over the bottom of your screen. That's down toward Bates County, not severe, but still some much needed heavier downpours. That is where you see down toward Butler, Missouri. Also, as we go out toward Lawrence and Leavenworth, out toward Topeka, nothing has start to come through yet, but the front itself is way out to the west, and until it passes us by, we still have to keep thunderstorms in the forecast. Damaging winds would be the number one thing we're concerned about with some of the cells. Hail will be number two. A low threat for tornadoes, but uh, nonetheless, it looks like more of a threat of clusters of thunderstorms that will be popping up. Not everybody's going to be getting this rain. That's the problem. That's going to be the issue. Wider inspection, low pressure here, one also very close to the Kansas-Missouri state line, dragging the front along with it. That will be focusing our chances for rain and thunderstorms later on tonight, as I think the best chance will be after 7 o'clock or so until about 11, then it calms down. But tomorrow will still be a hot, humid day. Then it cools down quite a bit with more chances of rain and more impact days heading into the weekend. Those much needed rains coming in on Saturday as well as on Sunday. More about that part of the forecast coming up in a few. And now is a good time to keep our KMBC 9 News app handy tonight as these storms pop up. We'll let you know when lightning is nearby and when rain is about to start.